President, Commissioner, uh, my colleagues have already said very much and you have also given us answers to some of the questions that we have asked. But this is so important, this project, to all of our institutions. And now we are really coming to the politics of it. The important questions concerning the democratic legitimacy of the creation of a CFR. There's been a lot of consultation, a lot of working groups, a lot of stakeholder groups from which we may learn a lot. But now it's the real time for decision making and we need a process that's open, inclusive and coherent. Now, the Commission is rightly conducting a selection process before presenting a white paper. But that process needs to be as inclusive as possible. And obviously we are worried about the languages. If this were mainstream legislation, it would be available in all the languages. Now, will the Parliament have an assurance that at white paper stage, it will still be possible to change the selection if we think that appropriate? And I think this is the heart of the conundrum that we face. Does the white paper kick off a legislative process or something analogous to it? Or are we going to deal with a separate legislative process each and every time in the future when we look at something to do with contract law? It comes down to this question, binding or non-binding. The council seems to think non-binding and voluntary. If that's the case, it's arguable whether we need a selection process at all. You keep everything in and you have the political debate at every moment in the future when a contract law question arises in a legislative proposal. But if we are creating something binding now, which it is well known that the Parliament would prefer in the form of an optional instrument, then we have to have some very serious, inclusive political debates now about content and coverage, which will lead us on to the next set of questions about a legal base and the involvement of Parliament as something more than a mere consultee. Thank you, President.